So we're having a bit of fun here. We're playing seven fire and it actually works quite well. So it's a bit of a fun build because it's just a lot of damage. The games go quick, but there, there still is the potential to beat any of the meta teams. And I run through what heroes playing in a moment and I run through my team. But starting off, I usually just go my ranger bonded to the Ramphy, which will give my ranger fire rogue. Then we've just got a lesser flish and the lesser Gro grokka at the front. So all of them are doing 30% more damage, these fire units. And we will eventually get to 7, which means all of them will be doing 70% more damage. And we eventually replace the Ramphy with the Ramp Fight, and we'll all already have the Ramp Fire down. So we'll have the Ramp Fight. If we haven't already won, we'll have the Ramp. We can swap in the Ramp Fight, and we'll have both these both these down. Our Ranger is just going to stay fire until we until about round three or four. So no Gauntlet yet on the Ranger. We're just stacking those fires. So round two, and you can see we beat this uh, Toxic Colossus opener, which is usually the strongest. Round two, we get to the five fire, and we're up to 50% extra damage. We'll probably lose this round. This is quite strong with him with the Ripe Lance and the the three Toxic plus the Berserker. But Hero is using the team that Zadkiel won both the tournaments on the weekend. So he went undefeated through two full tournaments. So this is probably the strongest team at the moment. Obviously it's not Zadkiel playing it, so if we win it doesn't necessarily mean this team is better. But at least it'll show the potential of this team. Round 3 we get ourselves the 7 fire. So just place down the Ember Links, the Stoic Ember Links. So the tank, which also brings us to 3 Bulwark. And the Arcane Ember Links as well. Which brings us to 3 Scion. We do kind of want to place our Ember Links. We obviously want him shooting through as many things as possible because he can easily finish off or one-shot these Berserkers. Especially since he's gaining the full benefit from Scion. So he's getting 55 Omega Power. And he's getting the full 70% from Fire. The cool thing is once we get the Ramp Fight down He's actually, he doesn't have Inferno, but he has Fire, so he's actually getting, you know, the full 70% bonus from Fire, whereas the Ram Fight, ah, uh, sorry, the Ram Fire is only getting the 30% extra damage. But obviously he has Inferno. Place the Ram Fire down, and usually with the Ram Fire, I'm going to go double energy gain at the start of combat, and then my Ramp Fight, when I get him in, is going to have the, the survival protocol, indomitable, and the vitality veil. But right now, because we need that weapon on the ranger, so we've still got the seven fire, and this gives us Ferno, inferno and phantom, both the ranger and the ram fire. I am just going to go, usually I would do this, the 30 energy here. For this one, this is just a lot better. Like I said, usually when I'm demonstrating these, I wouldn't use legendaries to show you a standard build, but, but I do verse this team later in this video. It's against a different player, and I won't use any legendary augments in that game. Alright, so round, what are we, round 5, we're just stacking augments, so I definitely want my ramp fire casting more frequently, and we could either bring the ramp fight in, or get this gauntlet down on the ranger, and I think in this case, the buff in the ranger is going to be the biggest, because we really just need, you know, because he's got enchanter, or he probably will have enchanter by this round, just getting alluvials off the board is as fast as we can is the most important thing. Just give everyone extra starting energy. I want my ranger almost insta-casting if I can. And same with the ramp fire. So he's spamming... Yeah, he's still got the... I think this is the right move against this team. Stick with the Colossus. Toxic. And he's trying to nerf my energy. But I'm pretty much insta-casting anyway. I don't think the leech are... It's delaying maybe my second Omega, but... You know, it's not influencing the game that much. Alright. This round we definitely want to bring in the round fight because we've got plenty of mastery points and just be careful because your ranger will debond because he was bonded to the ramp for you early so don't forget to rebond and I will link this team builder down below so you can click on that and import it and if you appreciate that and the video definitely make sure to like and subscribe it helps out a lot and ask me anything in the comment section as well. So let's just put the Indomitable on the round fight and we'll get their Vitality Veil on as well. Could nerf their energy, but again, I think I'm just going to put Indomitable here because let's stack out. Let's get our Ember Links, Arcane Ember Links casting faster. Yeah, the Stoic Ember Links are mega with the 7 fire does quite a lot of damage. And obviously the stun is super significant as well, but 
hopefully it'll clip the Kukarafia, no, I don't know if it will. So this is decent by him, so if I was him, usually what I would try to do is place my everything in the back line. So he's kind of trying to avoid my round fire as much as possible, but I think just putting him in the back line and killing, having something set up in the corner to kill my ranger, like even putting the rye plants in the corner, and just everything in the back line, it, and just kill kill whatever jumps to the back line. My round fire is probably going to get a mega off anyway. Trying to avoid him doesn't necessarily work, so just go hard on the back line, I think. So we're... We're just up against the Zadkiel build again that he won the tournament on the weekend with, that he went undefeated. So it's the Colossus Toxic, and he ends up with 4 Earth a lot of the time. And usually he puts down a Ripe Lance this turn, so... Again, this doesn't prove that it beats uh, that team, because it is a pretty hard team to play, and Zadkiel obviously has a certain way that he likes to play it, but... Nevertheless, it's a good team to showcase this team against because a lot of people are playing it on ladder at the moment. Round 3, Emberlinks, and Emberlinks. And he still hasn't placed the Rye Plants yet. So he's gone 5 Earth instead. Which, I mean, it's not the worst thing. So he's got 5 Earth, 3 Ball Walk. And he's probably was just planning on relying on the toxic tanks and all these earth units just becoming super tanky yeah because he put the the third toxic down doesn't add a third toxic but there's three units with toxic uh, I'm just gonna place my ramp fire straight in the middle we usually only have 30 left so that would be the round four round four it's interesting strategy by him this is a good way to counter this to counter a round fire, a team built about ra around round fire is just go very tanky. And we'll see if he gets Mystic or Enchanter down. He might debond his Ranger from the Cardalogs and get Enchanter down. And yeah, perfect. Looks like that's what he did. So because he's got the two rogues, he doesn't have room for Mystic. But I think that's a good choice. The enchanter should be more than enough, and the rogues taking out my back line, I guess, kind of makes sense. You have yeah, it's getting a little scary because he doesn't even have the gauntlet yet on his ranger. Love to move my ember links here. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a bit hard to predict who he'll where he'll be shooting, so I think it's more risky moving than it is just giving them giving him that extra energy. So he moved himself in the corner. Hopefully my Ramphy doesn't get sniped. Yeah, good. He didn't get hit, so let's see if he takes out the ranger. Very nice. Ramphy. Nice. Very good. And we're getting our ramp fight in now, so it's going to be harder to dodge. I mean, if he repositions. Let's get the ramp fight in. Let's give him the Indomitable and the Bale. Remember to bond the Ranger. Oops. And. Yeah, I think my coverage is good. There's not really anywhere he can protect his ranger. Let's have some quicker omegas. I think the... Yeah, let's go more energy. Quicker omegas. Oh, this is good by him. So he's got the reducing my energy down. Which should stop. Yeah. My ranger... Just got targeted by the Kukulus. Kukaraf. And my... Is there any just casting? This will be close. No, I won't. Oh, we, we just live. Let's get more energy down. Let's start suppressing their energy. Definitely want him living longer. Let's just see the Veil here. Vitality Veil on him could come in clutch. I'm hoping he'll target, if he stacks this way, he'll target something there. And 
Do I have enough? No, I don't. Alright, I'm just going to stuck out hard on this side. And if he moves this side and dodges my ramfire, at least my ranger will be safe. If he stays here, he's screwed, but I won't. At least I'm not committed to one side. Because, yeah, that is likely the scenario. So my Emberlynx, uh, he targeted over here. I don't think he's going to clip the ranger. No. He did hit the Kukulus, the Kukuraf though. Vitality Veil might let him live a bit longer, and yeah, that's the Ranger dead. Now it's just a matter of whether we win this round, if we kill him, finish him off this round. 515, I don't know. Yep, nice. Now we're up against Arcanite, Phosphorus Bloom, and we win round one, it's still the same setup. Got our two more fire units down, same setup for round two. We've been round two as well, and the goal here against the Blue Marconite, obviously the current way people are beating Blue Marconite is with Five Earth. So the Grit and Resolve means you just become too tanky for the auto attackers of Phos uh, Feriox and the Phosphorus. I guess the other way to beat it is just to kill the whole team before the Bloom starts to stack up. Maybe a little bit of mispositioning on the Feriox. It's very hard for him because he's trying to dodge my front line and my back line, like I am I ramfires jumping to the back line so he's probably out of range here from my ramp ramfy which is good for him well we'll see if it is but but he should be in range of the stun here let's have a look i think i got stunned before the stun went off but he'll, he'll probably win this round well, well let's see The bad thing about this build is we're all fire, so we, we can't do anything about him optimizing for hyper. So he's gone the Earth Feriox, so he's going to get hyper fairly easy, and there's nothing I can do about it. Alright, round four. Let's get in the ramp fire. I don't mind the Feriox, or the Phosphorus being on him early. Hopefully I'll get my... Depends what he puts on his ramp. Phosphorus. Yeah, let's see if I get my Omega off. Looks like I probably will, just. You can mega by the Emberlinks. I can reposition my Emberlinks later to be here, so he shoots this way. But yeah, this, the Hyper on the Phosphorus is going to be very hard to deal with. And I am going to buff up the Ranger. Similar, exactly the same as we've done every game. Hopefully that initial Mega well, triggers Inferno earlier. And if it cleans up a bunch of this, maybe my Ramfire will path onto the Feriox a little bit sooner. What did he put in? Damage reduction, yeah. So I don't have a lot of CC, so it's probably a good move. Uh, we're not doing too bad. Let's see, once I upgrade my Ramfy, his Omega damage and area will be bigger. Let's get in our Ramfire. Indomitable, make sure our ranger is bonded. Chuck this down. What I'm going to do is move my temple links here. Give me more energy and let's give everyone else more energy as well. So hopefully it'll result in me one-shotting the Fury Axe. What is he going here? Attack speed and pierce. I do have the three ball walk, so the pierce isn't bad. Alright, let's see what this ramp, ramp fight Omega does. Is it going to clip the Phosphorus? Yeah, it is. Oh, he's just going to heal up. One more Omega, he's going to move out of it. And Blinks. Still not enough. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's... just want his Phosphorus casting less. A lot of my Emberlinks, Ranger, my ramp fire almost casting instantly. Let's get the Indomitable down here. I won't use the Legendary Augment. Let's just get another Indomitable down here. I think I'd probably prefer just to move my Ramfire over here. To have everything stacked up on the one side, it's probably a better move, but let's see what he does. Because it just means everything will path over here anyway for him, and more chance that he'll be in range of both Ramfire Omegas. Okay, yeah, this is a good move by him. 
Oh, that was huge by my ranger. I just one shot half his team. And not good for <laughs> this. Alright, that didn't work out for him. Man, his phosphorus is insane. Alright, we still need to win. Okay. He's probably in full panic mode now. I really gotta watch my... He's probably gonna try snipe out my ranger. I really have a thousand mastery points. I don't know if I believe that. I'm gonna reduce it energy here because let's just reduce energy here in case he, he's probably going to put his Lelura over here I'm sure that's one of the moves he's going to make but if he does that he'll have to stack himself this side I'm just going to move everything over here I'm a little bit worried about my Ranger I mean although he'll get the first Omega off I still want him to live but if he stacks over this side my Emberlinks is going to just shoot through there but this will reduce the Lelura's Omega the first Omega so I guess it's something yeah okay so he might clean up my ranger pretty quick, but I should still get that Omega off. And I've absolutely just destroyed his Phosphorus. Surely he doesn't come back from that, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. So there you have it. There's, the, there's at least some way to beat Phosphorus. Again, in the hands of different players that may main this build. Who knows? You might not win every time, but you can see... You can see you can see there's definitely a path to, to beating the phosphorus. We're up against Tsunami Enchanter. So the current probably most played, arguably the best meta build at the moment. The one people complain about the most because it feels very OP when it wins. Yep, so again standard round four. All our alluvials are down. We've got the inferno out on uh, with the round fire and just this one energy augment. But the key thing here, and it played out well last round, is I've put my Emberlinks right in front of this Grocco. And I don't want the Grocco to move. Uh, so he's had to move his ranger. But essentially my Emberlinks was shooting right through to his ranger here. And that's what we didn't want to... Hopefully I can still get the Omega off. Yeah, nice. So he's now had to move his ranger essentially because my Emberlink was set up to just shoot straight through here. What he could have done is just moved his Grocco. If he moved his Grocco over here, my Emberlinks would shoot whatever line... He's auto attacking the Grocco through. Let's get the quicker Omega off on the ramp fire. He is getting targeted by the Kukulus, but if I can get that Omega off before the Kukulus Omegas anyway, it's not going to matter. Do I want the Ranger? Yeah, let's get finish the augments on the ramp fire, buff up the Ranger, and the 20 cost energy at the start of combat here. So he's still trying to protect his Ranger. I mean, he's still going to get clipped almost no matter where he is. Oh, that leech here just came in big on my ramp fire. Still got the Omega off there. But I do want that Omega off earlier because between the heals from Geyser, or the Flood, and the Enchanter, his Ranger is still quite tanky, so a way to get a bit more damage down on him. Once I put my ramp fight out, I think it'll be a lot better. Still just one big round away from winning. Let's get the ramp fight in. I'll just put in a little bit more there. Indomitable and the Veil. Go Suppressor, but I still think getting these Omegas off faster is the way to go. Don't forget to bond your Ranger again. So we've got more energy on my round fire, so hopefully he'll cast before the Leecher comes into effect this time. So we're getting these team energy gains. Ah, perfect. And my round fight is right on the Ranger. And yep. Yeah. Perfect, my Ramfire got the cast off early. Oh, he's stunned, got stunned while he's in the air. That's crazy. Either way. Yeah, that would have been a much bigger win if he didn't get stunned in the air there. I don't even know if I'll win this one. My Ranger is still healthy. But he's not casting super fast. His Axodon's probably just going to be too big. What I'll do, I'll go reduce energy here. So this will stop the Axodon casting as quickly. Suppressors for sure. I uh, really should have... I mean he's going to move his ranger anyway. Let's just get some indomitables down. On our front line there's a solid chance that Grocco is going to be targeted. More energy gain. Got enough to move my Amberlinks. Let's just put him right in the middle here. Hopefully... Let's just say he's Kukulus. It's auto attacking me around there. Hopefully that'll go straight through there. 
Moved his ranger. I think, yeah, that's a good positioning. I think it's pretty smart. And does my... Like, ground fire, you're going to cast. Get that off. Couple auto attacks. Ranger's dead. Now, let's just see if we can get through this accident. Hopefully without my ramp fire dying. Yeah, nice. Oof. There we go. So I think it went about 15 and 1 today with this team. But I'll show you a clip here of how I lost that one game. Lord Arena here. So he does stack at the back of the board and focuses down my, my ramp fire. But he also plays the double energy reduction after the first four seconds of the game. And this prevented my ramp fire's Omega quite a lot so so just to show you one way how to counter this is I suggest stacking at the back of the board like Lord Arena did here and reducing the energy of the round fire where you can and CCing him but again the link for this build is down below and if you appreciate that in the video make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time